Come on everybody, today we make short rib. Now it starts to be a little cold outside and this is a good dish for this time. Almost it's the end of September, come October it starts to be cold. Now the short rib I got to marinate this for 24 hours. And what I use for marinade, this is the short rib and I got over here carrots, celery, bay leaf, thyme, onion, garlic, my oye baby, a black pepper, pe peppercorn, and I got the, my meat over here. And I start put the meat inside, gagar marinate this. Okay, we start with the meat over here. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now, we put everything this inside over here together. All right. Okay. Now we put the wine over here. You not gotta be cover the meat. Like this is good. Okay. Now this is gotta be marinated this for 24 hours. Already I was fixed the meat, I was put black pepper and salt. But I don't want to put no more salt for now. I was put a salt already on the meat. Now this, I gotta take this out like this. And we cover. One time we cover this. Really good, they gotta be sealed. Like this, and you, see you got a different parts, I do like this. That's it. Now, I put this in the refrigerator, and it got to stay, like I say, for 24 hours. And I want to say something else. Thank you very much, everybody write me nice, nice thing for me what I do for everybody on my recipe. Thank you very much and I'll see you tomorrow to, f to finish this dish. Hi everybody, today we gotta finish my short rib. It was staying for 24 hours. Now we open up this, I just take it out for the refrigerator. A nice look. Now what I gotta do with this, I gotta drain all the wine, everything out. I put the, the short rib over here. Oh, look how nice. The wine, mm, the wine, it's really, really strong wine. If we put over here, the drain a little bit. Okay. Oh, really good. Look a nice piece. Mm. It's a really, really nice piece, this is the short rib. Okay, this is big. Moo! This is a big, maybe moo! Or boo! I think it's a cow. Okay, now this, I'll leave it do like this. And now we start with this nice parts. Make sure the parts you gotta be really thick parts do not stick. Cause this after you gotta go on your own with the cover. Now we put oil. Cause this I gotta make a nice the short rib the over here, okay you gotta be nice brown. And I put a couple of pieces of garlic and I put inside like this. Okay now this we put on the stove. I wanted the, the oil I put, it got to be nice hot, because when I put the meat, I got to make a nice color of the meat. After it's a nice color of the meat, I got to dump the garlic, onion, you got to carrots, celery. I got to drain and uh, the wine separated with the, all the stuff. But first, we got to fry the short rib on this part. Okay, now the oil is hot, everybody can see the garlic bubble. 
Now you take the, the rib like this and you gotta put on the flour. And you turn it nice on the flour like this. Cause this is the flour you gotta make the gravy. Little thick. Okay, I gotta use for the mashed potato I gotta make it the sauerkraut. See this now? Nah? Look nice. Make sure you know the no burn yourself when you pour the no dump inside. Make sure to pour it nice like this. Okay. You gotta use the flour, like I said, to make a nice gravy. Mm. Okay, now everybody see, got this, you gotta make a nice color. And now at the same time as this, you gotta make a nice color, it cook a little bit. What I do, I gotta take my stuff over here with the wine, everything. And I gotta drain this. Yeah, I got it over here and we drain everything like this. All right. Everything looks good. Okay, this not. Okay, I put over here. I know what. Because this you got to drain really good another wine with this. Okay, not gotta be too much wet. And I keep it right over here. Now this, make sure to cook a little bit on low flame, medium. If so you wanna look at the color, look, already you got a nice color on the bottle. Look. And you turn each piece, you turn like this. Take this, you gotta make a nice color all the side, everything. All right. Good. Okay, now everybody see this? A nice color you got. I brown this for 15 minutes. And now it's done. Now what I do, I take the meat out and I'll put it right on this dish. I gotta start with the, all my dark cards of celery. The fry in this oil over here. Look at look how nice. Look at this how beautiful. You see? Where is the beef? Where is the beef? This is a beef. Okay, look at this. I think everybody remember that woman. Where is the beef? Alright. I'm gonna be over here. Now we put this. We get a nice wood spoon. The turn, nice. Kind of want to use a metal spoon. Kind of want to scratch my beautiful parts over here. That's why I use wood. Okay, now one time this, it's a nice color too. We put the meat back and we put the wine and I got some chicken stock to put it together. Okay, now this you gotta fry a little bit. Look, mm, you can smell, right? Look, you see, you look, you smell. I know, everybody smell of it. Okay, now, look, nice, now, really nice color of this, it's done. And now we put the meat together over here. And we give a nice little turn. All right. And now it's a time to pour the wine. Yeah, I got a chicken stock over here. Now this is the wine. Mmm, good. Okay, now we put everything in the meat like this. Nice, flat. 
take, take less the space, okay, like this. Okay, now I got the chicken stock, I prepared this yesterday, if we dump inside over here. Let me see if it's enough. That's okay. I think it's good enough like this. All right. Now this you gotta stay on a low flame. When this is start to boil, leave it boil like maybe a couple of minutes, and you put it inside of the oven. But you gotta make sure the cover, the cover, and you put it in the oven. It gotta stay in the oven three hour and a half. But once in a while, make sure the check. Okay, you know one, you never know, maybe the meat is stick on the bottom. After you cover it again, you put it back in the oven. Maybe leave a boil in the oven for one hour. Here you check, hour and a half, and you check. Is everything okay? It's all right. You cover it again, and leave it stay. But you gotta cook this for three hour and a half. Okay? And after when it's cooked, I show everybody what it look like. Okay, now as you see, okay, it started to boil now, and we put it in the oven. Now, this is the cover, it started to boil, and we gotta put it in the oven, like I say, for 325 degrees for three hours and a half. nice that's it now we gotta wait every four hour every hour hour and a half we check so everything okay now we wait for three hour and a half I hope it, it been nice cook the short rib thank you I'll see you later on after three hour and a half and I'll show you what it look like thank you okay now we check my uh, short rib over here let's uh, see what it come out Okay, one, two, and three. Look how nice a boil this. It's so beautiful. This is my little nephew over here, Edwin. Give me five, Edwin. All right, watch, it's hot over here now. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, watch. Stay over there. Wow, look at this. Yeah, baby. Okay. Okay, now, let me take one piece. You see, I put the south crowd together. Okay, so good. Special now, like this. Little south crowd. And we want to taste this now, how good it is. Oh, look a nice cook. Look at the color. Oh, all right. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Edwin is so good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now. GG. Glass wine. All right, now, the glass, oh, a, another thing, I don't want to forget, I was picking up this, uh, oh yeah, baby, look at that, you want to test? Ah, this is a ZZ, salute everybody, chin chin, ala santé. Okay, good. Really good. Okay, let me test a little bit of the oh yeah baby, but then maybe I jump, I'm gonna see you. Let me see. Oh mm -hmm. I do like the horse. Mm -hmm. Alright, look at this beef over here. Where is the beef? So tender, so nice. Mm. 
really good. much everybody I hope somebody make the same like I did uh, thank you goodbye I see next uh, next one we make maybe tomorrow another one but we gotta wait for a couple of days hey Goomba come sta hey Goomba the saisonada saisona uvrish carilla E come se sono, o friscarilla, o friscarilla, parapapunzi, punzi, parapapunzi, punzi, pa, pum.